Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. And I'm here with a dream, okay? In this dream, um, I'm basically getting myself together, you know, building myself up, trying to get the things that I need, you know, to survive, regardless, you know, to like getting um, a vehicle, a place to stay. I'm getting um, everything to a uh, steady substantial trying to be sub self substantial yeah i think i said it right but i'm trying to get to a place to where i can successfully take care of myself and everything is everything you know what i'm saying just basically knowing the 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 the, the just working hard to do what i gotta do okay to survive now um in this dream there were people who were confused about what was going on because um i wasn't very vocal about what i was doing in order to get myself together and they <laughs> were starting to spread rumors and lies saying that there has to be some kind of secret boyfriend now you know um in this dream it wasn't exactly you know how i am now but at the same time you know like me now something like that was to happen it would be like what are you talking about technically i'm married even though i am separated and um we nine out of ten it's about to be a divorce that does not mean that i'm going about dating and i'm going and trying to find somebody to fill you know what i'm saying a position that is not even open and you know what i'm saying but anyways um, in this dream, I was being made fun of and shamed, and it was like, uh, just people that kept saying that they should meet someone and this person simply does not exist. Now, at the end of this dream, I heard this song. I do not know the singer of the song and it makes me feel bad, but it is a Christian song and it's the song, Work It Out. And I, like, I don't even know the lyrics. I just know she keeps saying, work it out, work it out, work it out, work it out. And she's uh, describing the things that she's going through, saying she got a light bill dude, the baby needs shoes, she needs this, she needs that. And she's basically saying God will work it out for her. And once again, my apology, you know, I feel bad because I don't know who made the song, but I know the song. You know what I'm saying? The scripture comes from Second Chronicles 30 and 10. The couriers went from town to town in Ephraim and Manasseh as far as the balloon, but people scorned and ridiculed them. Nevertheless, some from Ashtar, Manasseh, and Zebulun humbled themselves and went to Jerusalem. Also in Judah, the hand of God was on the people to give them unity of mind to carry out what the king and his officials had ordered, following the word of the Lord. So, for whoever this is for, um, because of what you are going through, it seems very strange and weird for you to be able to blossom the way that you are. Because of, it's like, I just feel like this is somebody, what you have to do is kind of like you having several mountains before you. And it's like you're just floating up to the mountain and you're grabbing what you need and you float back down. And it looks weird. It's strange. It looks odd. And in today's uh, times, like most people, you know, especially with the music, the movies, TV shows, just the culture in general, there are a lot of people that really believe that it is impossible for a woman to be able to obtain certain things and to have certain things if she don't have a man. And for whoever this is for, you are not... Um, I just, you're not seeking validation from a man. You're not seeking validation from anyone. This is not a situation where you are doing things in an attempt to be flashy, to show off, or to try to get an applause from anybody. You are doing things. Look at the attack. You're doing things that you have to do. This is a must. This is not a situation where you're just doing stuff because it's fun and it's for giggles. No, this is stuff that you have to do. You have to eat. You have to have a place to stay. You have to have a car. You have to have, like, insurance and you have to have... These are needs, okay? Like, even in my... Like, I have to get a divorce. I cannot carry on my life and just not get a divorce ever and be separated forever. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like... 
from your point of view, you find it weird when anyone is trying to assume the worst about you, especially when you are only doing things that you are supposed to, you know? And I just feel like um, God is saying that he is the one that is giving you the strength to do these things. He is the one that is ensuring that you have what you need. He is the one that is ensuring that you are able to go about and do what you need to do to survive. And... Uh, confirmation and it's not a situation where you are like it's not a situation where you are not supposed to be able to do these things you know and um it's the, like i i don't know if it's maybe you have um certain things that are coming against you maybe you have people that are trying to stop you i don't know what's going on as to why there are people that are thinking that there is something wrong with you being able to keep it going um i feel like Maybe you have been able to dodge some plots and plans of the enemy and it doesn't make any sense. But you are dodging these plots and plans once again because of God. Okay. Also in Judah, the hand of God was on the people to give them unity of mind to carry out what the king and his officials have ordered. So God is saying like, and for some of you, these are things that are ordered to you, regardless to if it is ordered to you by God himself, or if it's ordered to you, like, you know, this is what you have to do. You have to have a house. You have to have a way to get around. You have to have a way to eat a life. You need a job. These are things that you need. This is not a situation where you are doing something that is it's outlandish out of this world and it makes no sense this is what everybody is doing everybody got to have a job everybody got to have a way to get food everybody needs a way to get around everybody needs a place to stay this is not like and i just feel like you feel singled out because it's kind of like why am i being looked at as the weird person because i am doing what i have to do um you know, I, I don't know what to say about that. Like, it just feels weird. Just even just me speaking the message, it feels weird that you are even looked at as someone that's doing something odd and strange. And I, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's that maybe you have a different job or maybe, um, but you know, I like, I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't even answer that for you, but I just feel like maybe it's a situation where people weren't expecting you to be able to do it. Or, I don't know, but it's a situation where you are being looked at as someone that has the, there's something else going on or there's something else like behind the scenes that people don't know about. But in reality, ain't nothing else going on. God is just doing what he do. God is moving in your life because you need these things. This is a need. This is a necessity and he may be sprinkling in some wants every now and again he may be sprinkling in things that you would like every now and again his reasoning for that is his reasoning for that you know god don't have to answer to nobody and there will come times when god will bless us with things just because he felt like it just because he felt like it he will give us gifts just because he felt like we deserved a gift and you know you never know another person's situation so you know it's not always good to get upset or to be judgmental because somebody has something and maybe you don't or maybe you feel like you should get it or maybe you feel like they shouldn't have it or they don't deserve it. you don't know why god blessed them with that thing because you know God may have blessed them with a gift and they were expecting they didn't get a gift from anybody else. So God ensured that they had a gift because nobody else was worried about them having a gift. All right. You know, like it, it could be regardless if it's a birthday or something like that. Like you never know. Um, it, like you never know what is going on to like just stand and kind of like be judgmental of what somebody else have going on before you know all of the details of their life of their situation don't do that but anyways god is saying for whoever this is for this is this is an interesting interesting message i've received a message like this i think about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, I received the message how God was watching people um, and their reactions to him blessing you. And they were looking forward to be a man, but there was no man. And they were looking like some of them were looking for a man because they wanted to try to take the man. Some of them wanted to try to convince the man to stop. Some of them wanted to try to convince the man. This is you and that, 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 that. But God said he is not going to. This is not up for discussion. He's not asking anybody their opinion. 
He's not asking for comments and concerns concerning what he is blessing you with and how he is blessing you. He is going to bless you because he wants to. It don't have nothing to do with anybody else's opinion. And um, yeah, that's the message. You know what I'm saying? That's literally the message. God is saying that he is going to ensure that you have what you need, what you want, all those things. And it is by his hand. It is by his might. And um, for a lot of you, it's simply because of that. It may be people that are literally trying to, they want to put a stop see you receiving blessings they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you have anything and they want to be able to control this god says they cannot control him and that's that and that's the message Whew. thank you guys for watching and y'all know this song right here this uh work it out work it out work it out work it this is all like with baby God said, like, this is a situation where it looks like it's no way, but he going to make a way. It look impossible, but he going to make it possible. It don't make no logical sense, but he going to make it make sense. He is going to turn things around for you in such a way. You're going to be dancing. You are going to be glorifying God and praising God because it's not going to make sense the way he is going to bless you and ensure that you have the things that you need. And these are things you need. It is not a situation. You're not doing nobody no harm. You're not messing with nobody. You're not attacking anybody. And you know, in reality, even if it is a few things that you want sprinkled in there, why can't you have things you want? There are people all over the world that have things they want. Why are you undeserving of having things you want, regardless to what it is? And, you know, sometimes it could be things like shoes or maybe an outfit or maybe an accessory. Like, why can you not have things? You deserve to have things that you need as well as things that you want. We like and, and that's the message like for whoever this is for. That's what God is saying. He said he is about to bless you and he's going to bless you with not only the things that you want, not only the things you need, but the things that you want as well. And there may be some people that are going to have questions. They're going to be confused. They're not going to understand how it is possible that you have these things, but it is not really their business. It is not their concern that there's no need for them to stress themselves they can stress themselves if they want if they want to but they are not going to find a man that is standing i keep getting confirmation with this one they there is not going to be a man standing around waiting on them to come with their comments and their concerns because god is not taking up discussion when it comes to this he knows everything there's no need for anybody to try to come to him with any stories he saw it he was there he's not asking anybody's questions when it comes to what he's gonna do in your life and how he about to bless you you deserve it you deserve it this, like you deserve it 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 and once again this is somebody God about to move in your life in a very supernatural way, it may scare you. If you feel like you have been under attack, just like I was under attack a little bit earlier in this video. If you feel like you're like attack, 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 and it's just random. Don't even make sense. God is getting ready to move. And when he moves, it's going to be scary. When he moves, it's going to be, it's going to be like, wow. But God is doing this because you deserve to have the things that you need and you also deserve to have things that you want. It's not a situation where you are just supposed to be meant to just be struggling and just sliding by like God wants you to have things. God wants you to be able to um, give him glory and give him praise for having not only things that you need, but things that you want. And that's the message. That's the message. God said he's the one that's doing it. He is the one that's doing it. And he is the one that's doing it. He's the one that's doing it. And I just remember in this um, dream, it was just like stuff was coming like bam, 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 bam. And I was shocked. Uh, so it was, I just feel like for whoever this is for, it, get ready. This is about to be a rampant, like it's going to be fast. This is going to be a speed. Okay. God is putting the speed on this. Just like whatever the the text that you may be feeling, you may feel as though the text are just. But God said those blessings are going to hit you the same way. OK, the blessings are going to be it's just going to be like left and right. You're going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. But God said you are deserving. He wants you to have not only the things that you need, but also the things that you want. And he is going to ensure this for you. He's doing this. 
He is doing this. He flexing. He is flexing. He is flexing. We already know God loves to flex. He loves to flex. He loves to flex. He loves to flex. He loves to flex. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.